Good morning. It's day twenty-seven. <laughs> It's raining again. So, purple people at it again. <laughs> we have six miles to go until we get to the paved road that will take us into town, into Andover, Maine, for a hostel stay and a resupply. Mostly downhill, so not too bad of a day. But we are soaking wet. <laughs> it rained all last night again, and then it's supposed to rain all day today until about noon or one o'clock. But it's gonna be wet. How do you feel, Mom? I'm really glad we have this great rain gear. Um, hoods. Greta has her hat on, which helps keep the hood and the rain out of her face. I can't wear my hat because it hits right on my stitches, which hopefully we'll <laughs> take out maybe tomorrow after tomorrow morning before we leave. And yeah. um, but I'm I'm pretty dry except for the wet clothes I had to put on <laughs> from yesterday, <laughs> my pants. But I have clean, dry socks and underwear, so it's a good day. All right. <laughs> It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a wet day, though. Stay tuned. Well, we made it to the top of Wyman Mountain, but you can't really tell. <laughs> you can't see the valley at all. It's okay. Had to climb about 200 feet to get here, and everything else is downhill from here to get to town. Today is day six since our last resupply at the main roadhouse in Stratton, Maine. So we have basically no food left, which is perfect timing. But usually people go about three to four days between resupplies. So pushing it to six was a long time for us. So we are craving things. We want showers. We want laundry. All of that is on an all time high. But right now I am in full hiker hunger mode. <laughs> I am craving things that I never usually really crave out in the real world. My top are cheese pizza, soda, which I never drink soda really in the, in the real world, and ice cream. So those three are my weak points now. What about yours, Mom? Um, I would love to have some fresh green beans. Um, <laughs> I'm just craving veggies. I usually eat so many and it's been hard without them. Um, To, and to go along with that, a Dunkin' Donuts chocolate cake, chocolate frosted donut, and a small cup of decaf coffee would be... Cake lovely. donuts over raised donuts any day. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> and what besides the coffee and donut? Oh, maybe a fully sugared soda as well. <laughs> and what else did you say? Well, Something what? cold and frozen. Oh, of course. Always ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream. So... We're hoping they have all of that once we get to town in Andover. Have about three miles left or so. Ooh, that's great. So we are really banking on a hitch. It costs $64 round trip for us to get a shuttle from the trailhead to our hostel and back. And it's only four miles, one direction. So we thought $64 crazy. was way overpriced. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna try to hitch. And if not, we'll just walk the four miles. It's okay and save $64, which is, that's basically a full resupply and some, so. I bet they don't have any rocks and roots on the uh, shoulder of the highway too. <laughs> so we'll see, but we are craving all the goodies. East B Hill Road, that's where we're headed to. 1.9 miles left to get into town. We are walking <laughs> on the paved road that takes us from the trailhead into Andover. Uh, we have not passed a single car yet. Not one. Not, not one. one. And we've already walked probably about a half a mile. So it is seven miles from the trailhead into Andover. So hopefully we don't, we don't have to walk that whole way, but we might have to. But it's a beautiful day. It's not raining. The sun is trying to break through the clouds. We can see the mist up on the mountains. It's beautiful. So, could be worse. <laughs> Hopefully we get a hitch. <laughs>
Let's go in and check it out. This is what our room looks like at the Pine Ellis Hostel. Um, we did get a private room so um, for my mom and I. So the two beds there, extra bed, um, but we could either do two bunks in the bunk room with a bunch of other hikers for $30 per bed or a private room for $65. So for five bucks more, we get the privacy and we're here at noon. So we have the entire day to just lounge around and rest and maybe get a little nap in, but super cute. Super cute here. Nice fan there. That's gonna be a, a great relaxing stay. Town necessities. <laughs> yeah. The best chocolate lovers. Yum. Hey. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Yo, my reviews. Two thumbs up. <laughs> so good. <laughs> we need pepper flakes. We also have ice cream for dessert. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream and gummies. And we already went to the ice cream store once today. Cody <laughs> only has small, small ice cream this afternoon. So. <laughs> So good. Yeah. So we're having our last cheat of the day. <laughs> ice cream. More ice cream. Of course. Cookies Hershey's and cream this time. We usually go chocolate something. But yeah. Cookies and cream. Yeah. And it's Hershey's brand. That's a local brand yeah. here. So Hershey, Pennsylvania. And um, it's pretty darn yummy. So... It's a good night. We had a good day, long day, mm -hmm. way past our bedtime, but we got to FaceTime with our family because yes. we have connection here and that's really nice to get caught up with everybody. So, night. <laughs> good night. Good morning. It's day 28, the last day of week four. Woo! Woo! <laughs> We're getting ready to leave Pine Ellis uh, um, Hiker Hostel and we have clean clothes on smells so much better <laughs> and we have about eight miles to do today once we yep. get back on trail we're leaving on the nine o'clock shuttle so everything is all packed up and big exciting event getting stitches out yep today is day 10 so she can get her stitches out everything's healing really nicely black eyes almost gone well, like she said eight miles today it's kind of a big day as far as elevation so three thousand feet up total and 2,500 feet down. So still a bit of an, an up and down day. And we're headed to a lean-to tonight. Also has tent site, so if it's full, we can tent. But overall, should be a good day. And, and a rushing, gushing, babbling brook. So that'll <laughs> yeah. be nice to not have to carry a ton of water up that 3,000 feet. For sure. And it is supposed to rain later today from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. So right about the time that we're gonna get to the lean-to, so. And perfect time to <sighs> lull us to sleep at yeah. the lean-to. Hopefully it doesn't actually rain. It's only like 40% chance. So that questionable range, but it's going to be a good day. Yay! Ah, stop. Nine stitches out. Looks pretty good. Still a little bit of healing to go right at the corner, but looking so much better. How you feel? Great. Just got to the trailhead and we already have some trail magic. Thank you. Trail magic. A real mountain Thank you, Pete and Mary. Just leaving trail magic always just a wonderful blessing. And that is our third trail magic in about 265 miles. So thanks again, Mary and Pete. Thank you, Mary and Pete. Everybody blowing us away with kindness. But like we said, today is going to be a wonderful day. Whew. Hopefully it stays nice and sunny. Have about eight miles. Um, we are going to get to the top of Bald Peak Mountain today. So that 
hopefully should be a good view at the top today. But so far, amazing people, not too rocky or rooty yet. Not yet. <laughs> hopefully it stays like that, but. No rain in the forecast either until later tonight. Later today, but. Yeah, between around five o'clock maybe. So hopefully yeah. we can get to the lean to before then. Yeah, let's get kicking. Woohoo! This tree. Mom mom thinks she looks like the tree. <laughs> it's huge. The oh. tree has a butt. It has a good butt. <laughs> nice butt. Are just a little bit different length. My hip is all the way up here. My hip is here. <laughs> so I am like just shy of six feet tall. I'm not. I think I'm five foot four. Five foot four in a good day. So <laughs> it's climbing over logs a little bit easier for me and going up steep hills a little bit easier. Greta says, put your foot there and put your foot there. Or just follow my footsteps. Doesn't work at all. <laughs> Shorty. We just met Mushroom and Pink Hot Dog from the YouTube channel Playground Earth TV. We've been watching their Appalachian Trail journey since day one. They are Nobo hikers, so they're almost done, but it was so oh, awesome they are <laughs> to so meet them. They are so delightful. Just amazing humans. Very positive. Mushroom, yes, so positive, so upbeat, so into the strength of a positive attitude. And, and Pink Hawk Dog could not be kinder. What's a sweet, sweet, adorable <laughs> couple. Yeah, we, we love them. Like I said, we've been following for a, them uh, for a long time. It was really nice to Chat. meet them in person and they're just amazing people and the kindness on trail So check out their continues. channel. They're just great. Yeah, they're almost done. They'll be summiting in, in a couple weeks. So congrats to them and good luck on the rest of your journey. We're supporting you guys all the way. Good job, Mama. Grind it out. Ooh, smell it. <laughs> Smile. Oh. Made it to Bald Paint East Peak. Uh, the elevation here is 3812. So we did a good job. <laughs> lots of uphill climb, lots of sheer rock. So proud of us. Yeah, 6.3 miles so far and 1.7 to go to our shelter tonight. And it is beautiful up here. 360 degree view. So gorgeous. And not much wind at all really perfect, cool, nice breeze. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> mountains just everywhere. Gorgeous! Looks like there's snow on top of that one. Oh, it's just about. <laughs> so got about, what do we say? 1.7 miles left to go. Got one little blip and then the rest of it is downhill. So see you at the shelter.
We are heading down the East Peak and that is the West Peak right there. And you can see the trail. So we'll kind of go up right there and then up to the top. Just finished dinner, Yum. wrapping up the dishes. <laughs> it's kind of a little rainy out, just a little bit, but I'm not gonna go rinse them out tonight and get wet. Um, we had a great day, it was beautiful. beautiful, beautiful. Probably one of the most prettiest days we've had on the trail. Gorgeous scenes, did eight miles in eight hours, which I know sounds <laughs> really slow, but pretty steep ups and downs. And we talked to an amazing number of delightful people. We talked to so day. many people for so long. <laughs> it was so fun, it was so fun. It was one of the best days. The views were great, the, weather's, the weather was great, it was coolish. Yes, still sweated bullets, but it was a delightful day. Really one of the nicest on the trail. It was great. Yep, we're at Bald Pate Lean To right now. Obviously set up our tent. We had to lay it out to dry still from when it rained a couple nights ago. So we figured, oh, we'll just sleep in it tonight. Uh, tomorrow. Let it get wet again. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow is going to be a tough day and the day after that. Now, tomorrow we are going to do Mahusik Arm, which is one of the steepest mountains on the entire Appalachian Trail. Um, we have to go down it, which is going to be super tough. So hopefully the rain that we just got now um, dries out before tomorrow. But we do that later in the day, right? Yeah, that's going to be the last thing that we do. So we'll already be tired. Yeah for the day, but tomorrow's gonna be a really tough day um, with Mahusik Arm, and the day after that, we're gonna do Mahusik Notch, which they say is the slowest mile on the entire AT because of all the bouldering you have to yeah. do, so. We talked to one girl today that did it, and it took her four hours, because <laughs> it was really wet. So it's dangerous, really a lot of ups and downs on slippery steep boulders, but hopefully the weather will hold. It's supposed to dry out tomorrow again, and that would make all the difference. So prayers as we got these two big days in front of us, pray for good weather, positive attitudes, big smiles, lovely people to interact with again. Yeah, so the next two days are gonna be really big days. So stay tuned and be sure to check out the next video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good night, everybody. Night. We'll see you later. Hi, Ron here. Um, wanted to commend Susan and Trata on their progress with the app trail and uh, they're moving into New Hampshire now for Maine so they're doing really well they're back on schedule and Sue and Greta are both doing pretty good and their problems their heat and different things they've got solved uh, so anyways we're, we're proud of them um, now I go I'll go to my average joke of the day and today is what did one wall say to the other I'll meet you in the corner Go Greta and Sue. Everybody have a great evening. Bye.